Hey guys, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of graphing parabolas on MyOpenMath. Uh, MyOpenMath can be quite picky in the way that you put these in. It can be a little frustrating. Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple of examples and hopefully that will save you a little bit of time. Um, so the main thing when you're graphing these quadratic functions, these parabolas, is that you follow the instructions exactly on the uh, instructions here. So for example, um, there's two types of tools. There's the uh, point tool and then there is the poly tool. So this guy right here is the point tool and this guy right here is the poly tool. Now um, just make sure that you follow the instructions exactly. So it says here that you need to plot the vertical intercept on the graph using the point tool and then you need to draw the function using the poly tool by plotting the highest or lowest point. So this is going to be the vertex and one other point. It's okay if this other point is the vertical intercept. So I'm just going to do this a little out of order to show you what you might do incorrectly. So for example on this graph um, I already know that the vertex is at negative 1 3 so I'm going to put that very nicely right here. I'm assuming everyone is going through the mini lessons and learning how to do this. I'm just showing you specifically how to graph on my open math. Um, the vertical intercept for this is going to be 2, so I can just plot that right here. Now, that graph is correct. However, if I go to submit this, I'm going to get the yellow box, which means it's not 100% correct. The thing that it's missing is this part right here. Plot the vertical intercept on the graph using the point tool. So even if you've plotted it using the poly tool, you have to go back and plot it using the point tool like that. And you'll see this kind of this point pop up. Um, if you don't plot it exactly where it needs to go, you can move it. Um, so otherwise, you have to clear everything. So now this should be okay. So let's see. There we go. We got the green box, so that's good to go. Um, another similar one would be one like this. Um, in this particular case, the um, the vertex and the horizontal intercept are the same. So in this case, I know that the vertex is here at four zero. Um, and I know the vertical intercept is 16 and it opens up so there's my other point so again that is the correct graph of this function however if I just submit that I'll get the yellow box the problem is is that it says to plot each of the horizontal intercepts on the graph using the point tool okay so and that's where the warning here the points from the poly tool don't count you must use the point tool uh, so the horizontal intercept was 4. I, I plotted that using my poly tool, but then I have to go back and also plot the horizontal intercept using the point tool like that. And now it should give me the green square, which is good to go. Um, here's another one. This one has a vertex at 2, negative 1. And then it has uh, intercepts at 1 and 3. Okay. Um, but again, uh, this graph is correct. But if I submit it right now, it's going to give me the yellow box. The problem, again, plot each of the horizontal intercepts on the graph using the poly tool. Okay, so this I did this part correct, draw the graph using the poly tool, plot the vertex, and one other point. However, I also need to go through and tell my open math that I know that these two are horizontal intercepts using the point tool. And then now this should be okay. Yep, we're good to go. Alright, I'm obviously skipping the other parts of the problem because I just want to show you the graphing.